Hey everybody, Mike here. Well, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, we're doing another video today. We're of course in Maya and I'm doing a follow-up on a question that I got in my community about environment modeling, right? So what if you want to create a mountain range? How would you do that? Well, uh, there are actually a couple of ways and it's actually not that complicated, right? Now, there's a thing called a DEM file or a digital elevation map, right? That's what we're gonna to use to do this. So first we need to have a layout for something that we can work with. So let's start with a polygon plane and I'm just gonna hit R and scale it up to roughly the size of my grid, right? Hit Control A to open up the attribute editor and we're gonna to need to give this uh, a lot of subdivision. So I'm gonna set 500 by 500. Otherwise, we're gonna get very rough detail. Now, am I okay with that? Yes, I am, good, good. And if your system can handle that, then of course you need to lower that a little bit, right? So now that I have that, the idea is that we're gonna sculpt. So we're gonna to go to the sculpting menu. We're gonna take the brush on the left. We're gonna click on that. And as we move over it, you can hardly see it. You see a little uh, tiny thing moving around in the top right corner right now. If you hold down the B key, B for ball, right? Hold down the B key, left click and drag, you will see that you will increase or decrease the brush size, right? So there you go. Now, you don't want it to be too big because the bigger the brush, the bigger the impacted area, right? You don't want it to be too small either. Now, if I were to manually sculpt, I would move something like this and you can see that the elevation is huge. Now, how do we control that? Well, if you double click on this guy, you get settings. First of all, you can change the size here as well. So if I want the size to be smaller, I can do that here as well, right? Okay, let's set this to, I don't know, I would say eight or so, yeah? Let's have a look, yeah, it's fine. Second is the strength. Now, you just saw that it was way too big, so let's do about the half or so, let's do seven and let's have a look much much better all right so that's how you can go around and sculpt you would have to be quite an artist to get that uh, looking like a realistic mountain range right well luckily we have a other method to do that and that is by using this stamp option down here so i click on stamp i can now load in a file and in this case a dem file or a digital elevation map so we need to go and look for one first, right? So we're gonna jump into Google and I'm gonna type in a DEM file. And you will see something like this. We're gonna jump to images because that's what we're looking for. And here are a bunch of examples, right? Now, the thing here is you can use, for example, something like this. Uh, if you can't find anything to your liking, what you could do is look for mountain height map instead. And if that doesn't work, you can even just take a random file like this and then go into Photoshop and turn it into black and white, increase the contrast, save it as a JPEG, and you got basically the same idea. What's important though, is that it has to be a top view. So you can't use anything that has an angled view, right? It would look quite distorted. Something like this would well, I don't know, something like that, but you get the idea, right? So if I were to use this, for example, that wouldn't work. Now, second is you need to make sure that the file that you do use is large enough. This one is actually not quite large. Let's have a look at this one. This one is also quite small. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to tools. We're gonna go to size. We're gonna click on large, All right? Let's have another look. Let's see, what do we got? And is there anything we can use that is useful? Now, there are tons of files out there, but I don't wanna spend a lot of time looking for it. So I know for a fact that if I go and type in uh, mountain height map, I will get a lot of results, right? Okay, cool. Once again, I wanna make sure we have a large size file. So click on large, here we go. And then from here, we're gonna choose something to work with. Um, I don't know, let's have a look, let's have a look. See if we have anything interesting. And make sure that we have a good size. Let's click on this, 
that's a good size 1600 by 1744 right so I'm going to right click save image as and we're just going to go and okay we can't use that one it's not a JPEG sorry we're going to take uh, I don't know let's take this good size save image as PNG that will work right okay PNG save it on the desktop here we go we're going to jump back into Maya here we are we're going to go to use stamp we're going to click on import and here you can flip if you want let's say uh, you know it's facing the wrong way and so forth I'm going to click on import I'm going to go to my desktop and let's see I think that was the one I might have more files here yeah I do I think that was the one um, so we're gonna open that up and if it wasn't that one I apologize but it will work anyway yeah okay cool so we got that now we got our brush we have our strength set up and the idea here is to um, you uh, move the brush once so you're not gonna be painting around you're just gonna click on the middle here and you're gonna pull it up once now if we zoom in closely you'll see that you have a very, very awesome mountain range, right? Now, let's say you don't think that's high enough or strong enough or whatnot. We're going to go back in here. We're going to open this up. We're going to go in and change the strength to, let's say, 12. Let's minimize this a little bit so we can see what's going on. And let's try that again. All right. And as you can see, that looks awesome let's say you want it to be even more I don't know 18 let's go in the back here and there you go and then you can go in here and so forth and so on now the thing is uh, I know that a lot of people are using AI nowadays and they're getting into um, I don't know uh, unreal and they're using um, pre-made assets and whatnot I think personally it's very very important to maintain the skill set to be able to do any of this stuff uh, manually now we're using imagery here to do this uh, you can do it also manually but this is a really cool way that I wanted to share with you guys keep in mind once you have this done this is not usable in a game situation uh, until you bake it right so you can bake in Maya, ZBrush, 3D Coat, tons and tons of applications. What you would need to do is save this out as your high poly model. You would then have to reduce the uh, sub count uh, to something that is suitable as a low poly, bake the high onto the low and so forth and so on. I did tons of videos on that process, so you can check that out you know, if, you know, if you want okay so that's the process now i hope you enjoyed it uh, if you have any other questions like this one and you want me to do a video on it please let me know i'll be happy to help right i'm going to turn on my ambient occlusion here so you can see it a little bit better there you go and that said thank you guys so much for watching love to see you guys in the next video and uh, please hit that sub button if you enjoy the content right thanks for watching see you guys in the next one bye